In this video, I'll show you how to live stream with a video camera like your DSLR or your camcorder so that you can easily boost the quality of your live streams using your favorite video camera as a webcam. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. Now, as we're going through this video, if you're seeing value in it, make sure you're giving us a thumbs up and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Using a DSLR, a mirrorless, or really any other type of video camera is the easiest way to really level up the quality of your live streams. And it's not that hard to do with the right setup. So whether you've got a fancy DSLR, a camcorder, or a video camera, we're gonna run through the best ways to do it right now, along with exactly what you need and how to set it all up to get it going. And then to take that live stream quality even further, once we're done, I'll also share with you how you can take your live streams up another notch with some awesome custom animations, really fast and really easy. Now there's some pretty big advantages in using an actual camera in place of a webcam, but the biggest one is probably the look and the feel of the image that you're now able to get into your computer. Depending on which camera you've got, you'll be able to get a much shallower depth of field in your shot. So you're able to blur out the background or have some separation between yourself and whatever is in the background. On a webcam and even some of the latest ones, it's really hard to get much or any depth of field in your shot. You'll also find that a lot of cameras are gonna give you a much better shot in low light conditions. Typically webcams are fairly average in low light environments, whereas a lot of cameras out there will actually do a fairly decent job. You'll also have a lot more control over the look and feel of your shot. Again, webcams, they don't have that many settings, whereas a lot of cameras, you'll be able to kick them into manual and really dial everything in. And you'll also probably find that a lot of cameras out there are gonna do a far better job at things like auto-focusing than what webcams do. But also, if you're gonna use a camera that you've already got accessories and things for, it means that you'll be able to use those with your computer as well. So if you've already got microphones, you've already got a teleprompter and everything set up for your camera, then the chances are that you'll be able to use all of those when it's connected up to your computer as well. Now, as for the disadvantages or the downsides, battery life is probably the first thing that you need to be aware of. If your camera doesn't have have a very long battery life, then you're gonna chew through that fairly quickly when it's connected up as a live stream camera. For most cameras out there, you can purchase a power adapter, so you don't need to worry about batteries, and that's something that I'd strongly recommend that you invest in. For a lot of cameras, especially recent ones, you could just jump over to places like Amazon and search for your camera make and model, and you'll probably find one very, very quickly. And another thing to be aware of, it is possible to have an audio sync issue with your video. Where now don't worry, I'm gonna share with you some solutions for this a little bit later on in the video, but it is something to be mindful of depending of how you set this up. Okay, so there's two main ways that you can connect your camera up to your computer. The first is by using an HDMI interface unit, something like this one, the CamLink 4K. So what this lets you do is take the HDMI feed out of your camera, so the video out of your camera into this little device, and this is going to let you bring it into your computer and just connect it to your computer with USB. Now the beauty of this method is it's gonna work with a lot of cameras out there that have an HDMI or a mini HDMI or a micro HDMI port. And on the computer side of things, you don't need to install anything. You don't need to run any software or drivers. It literally just picks up this cam link as another webcam. Now there is a bit of a shortage on cam links at the moment. So if you're looking for an alternative, Elgato, the company that make cam link, also make a device called an HD60S Plus. Make sure you're getting the one with the plus, but it's gonna work pretty much exactly the same. The HD60S Plus will be limited to a 1080p video stream, whereas the CamLink 4K is obviously up to 4K. Now you wanna make sure with this that the camera that you're going to be using supports clean HDMI or will output clean HDMI. What I mean by clean is that they don't have any battery indicators or record indicators or any of the on-screen display stuff that you see on your cameras. You need to make sure that none of that is outputted over HDMI or that you have the ability to turn that off for your HDMI feed. Now, if you're not sure about your specific camera, just jump onto Google and do a quick Google search for your camera make and model and the words clean HDMI. You want to make sure it outputs clean HDMI. Now, a great thing about using HDMI and using this method is that it will also bring through your camera audio. So if you've got any microphones or anything connected to your camera, then your audio feed will also come in with the video and the two of them will be synced up. So you've got no sync issues. So that's option number one, using an HDMI interface unit. Option number two is there's a lot of cameras these days which will actually now work as webcams if you just connect them up through USB. 
So a lot of the big brands have started to release little camera apps that you can download and install on your computer and that will let you use your camera as a webcam. So Canon's got one, Sony's got one, Panasonic has just released theirs and a lot of the other brands have as well. And again, for your specific camera make and model, I would suggest doing a Google search to see if you can use it as a webcam without any additional gear. So you can search for your camera make and model and as webcam and you'll find the answer pretty quick. Now there's two things that you need to be aware of with this method, again, depending on your specific camera make and model. Some cameras won't pass through audio over USB. It'll just be the video image coming through without any sound. So if that's the case for you, it means that you'll just have to use a different type of microphone connected directly to your computer. So a USB microphone, something like the Rode NT-USB or NT-USB Mini could be a good option for you. And the second thing to be aware of with this method is that it's typically a little little lower quality than using HDMI. And again, depending on your specific camera, the quality coming in could be 480p, could be 720, it could be 1080, but it is gonna change depending on which specific camera you have. So I'll take you through now how easy it is to get this set up with both methods. All you need to do is to download the specific webcam software for your specific camera make and model. Connect your camera to the computer using USB. Turn the camera on, and in most cases, you're gonna to wanna to set that to video mode. Now, if you are having any issues, I would definitely recommend reading again the instructions for your specific camera make and model because some cameras, it's pretty rare, but some cameras will want you to switch your camera to different modes and some specific cameras will even tell you to do things like to take out the memory card so that you can live stream for longer. But for most cameras, you can leave that stuff in and just switch over to video mode. And then that's all you need to do to have your camera showing up as a webcam. You can then select in your live streaming software or even apps like Zoom as well. So now that you've got it all hooked up and running, if you do find that you have some audio sync issues, so the audio is a little bit out of sync with the video, my first recommendation to fix this would be to try and connect your audio, your microphone, into the camera itself. So at least that way, the audio and the video are gonna be paired and partnered up before they come into your computer. So minimizing the risk of any sync issues. Now, depending on the gear that you've got, that might not work for you. So the next option is inside of your live streaming software, whether it's OBS, Ecamm Live, vMix, Wirecast, all of those will actually let you manually adjust the sync or the delay between your audio and video. So that's a really simple fix that you can do in those applications whether you're gonna be live streaming or even just recording directly into your computer just to fix up that sync. So using an actual camera is an amazing way to level up the quality of your live streams. Another way that you can do it is by using animated titles and graphics inside of your live streams as well. Now, if you're interested in learning how to do this, there is a link on screen with a tutorial where we take you through how easy and how simple it is to create amazing looking graphics you can download and use in all of your live streams. So check out that video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.